Let's take a few minutes and talk about the increment and decrement operators in the C programming language. Increment and decrement do exactly that. They add one or take away one from the value of a variable, but they're there so that you can tell the compiler that that's exactly what you want to do. Now, most optimizing compilers now will figure out when you create a, a construct of adding one to the the value of a variable, they will figure out that's what you're doing and, and they'll create the best code that they can. But it, it never hurts to tell the compiler exactly what you want. And that's what increment and decrement do for you. There's a pre-increment uh, and pre-decrement and there's a post-increment and post-decrement as well. And we're going to take a look here in a second at what that means and, and how to be careful about how to use those. Now here's a regular increment. It's done in both both what is called postfix and prefixed prefix uh, notation. So here you see uh, we set up x equal to one, and then we come down here to our if. If x plus plus is equal to one, then we'll print f. X is now two. What happens here is that we look at x and compare it to one before we do the increment. So you see x is here, and then the plus plus is to the right. That's a postfix increment. So we do the comparison, then we do the increment. So when we get down here, at this point, x would now be equal to 2 because we would have incremented it after our test. This is the prefix notation. Here we increment x ahead of time, and we say if plus plus x is equal to 3, it used to be 2, if it's now equal to 3, we'll print out x is now 3. Since we have a prefix increment, plus plus x, x is in fact now 3 before the test. We do the increment, then we do the comparison for equality with this value on the right side. So x is in fact now 3 after we come out of this. Decrement works just the same way. Here we're going to set up and say that x is equal to 2. And if x minus minus decrement is equal to 2, that's our postfix. And that will be the case because we will do the comparison first because we have the postfix decrement. We'll do our comparison. x is in fact 2. We'll come down here and we'll say that x is now equal to 1 because we have decremented x at that point, so it has gone down to 1. If we now do a prefix decrement, minus minus x equals 0, we decrement first, x is 1, we decrement it again before the comparison, now it is in fact 0, this will be true, and we will say that x is now 0. So that's the increment and decrement, postfix and prefix, so now we're going to move onward with uh, some other uh, types, operators, and expressions.